Recently I compared Corsair's Quiet Edition and High Performance Edition fans. Now it's time to take a look at Airflow versus Static Pressure with this Corsair AF and SP120 fan series. Unboxing both of the fans we find the same stuff, which is obviously the fan itself, as well as these two color rings, red and white, instead of only the blue one we have on fan from the beginning. It's cool because it can easily change your fan's overall appearance and match your beard, which I really like. You've got also of course some mounting screws here. On the F120 we find 9 airflow optimized blades and on the SP120 7 wide blades which are optimized for static pressure. Both of the fans feature this rubber mounting system which allows to prevent unwanted vibration in noise in your case. Both of the fans feature as well some branding at the center part where the motor is located. So without wasting any more time, let's get to the testing of these fans. We're gonna test them on Kraken X31 water cooler from NZXT, cause radiator is a pretty good way to test fans, especially these SP ones, but we're gonna compare AF versus SP. And as a refer point here, we've got as well the NZXT FX120 V2, which is this radiator fan. Taking a look at the silent mode, we can easily see that SP120 wins here in the silent mode everything. So it's keeping the average temp of our CPU around 61 Celsius degrees with maximum reaching out 77 degrees. AF120 at the same time at the maximum RPMs here keeps the CPU at 68 degrees and 79 at maximum. And what is this appointment here is uh, NZXT FX120 V2 fan because op radiator optimized fan for their own radiator should perform much better than it does here but keep in mind that it worked only on 1000 rpm quite addition sp120 spins up to 1450 but here it was working around 1100 so it still beats NZXT's fan mm, a lot and is much much more silent. Moving to the performance mode, we see the same numbers of AF120 Quiet Edition basically and if you're asking why, the AF120 Quiet Edition spins all of the time 1100 RPM which is its maximum speed. Here the NZXT FX120 fan gets onto the level of Corsair SP120 PWM Quiet Edition and SP120 PWM was spinning here around its maximum while the NZXT fan was spinning around 1500 RPMs which is a little bit more than this SP120 and we are still getting worse results actually. But they are pretty similar here, uh, but what's worth noting is that the NZXT FX120 fan is much much louder compared to the SP120, mainly because of non-rubber mounting system and just a bad motor, which makes unwanted noise. The most fair test here is 1100 RPM fixed, cause that's the level that all fans can keep, while well, because the AF120 is maximum 1100 rpm. So taking a look here, SP120 PWM Quiet Edition gets a level of 64 degrees Celsius, while the NZXT FX120 V2 of 69 Celsius. And that's a pretty fair test, so you can see that cores are keeping quietness easily on its almost maximum rpm, easily beats this NZXT FX120 fan for 5 Celsius degrees. F120 is located in the middle on its maximum rotation per minute with 68 degrees which is pretty around FX120 V2 fan from NZXT. But overall the winner is Corsair SP120 PWM Quiet Edition here.